Hey everybody, I am pumped up for this review. It is the Jack Daniels Twice Barreled Special Release Heritage Rye. Let's go. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. This is a special bottle. I've been looking forward to it. It is a special release from 2023. If you look at the neck tag, it'll tell you the barrel entry date and the second barrel entry date, and then it has the bottling date. As a whiskey enthusiast, I am a huge fan of all of that information already just up front on the neck tag. Let's look at the rest of the bottle. It's in the stout square bottle that we've been seeing a lot of the Jack Daniels single barrels and special releases coming out in. And it says on the front, Jack Daniels, uniquely crafted, handmade barrels, twice barreled special release, Tennessee rye whiskey, heritage barrel rye, 100 proof, 50% alcohol by volume, 700 milliliters, straight rye whiskey aged in new oak barrels and then matured in our homemade heritage barrels which are heavily toasted and lightly charred to create a unique flavor. I did not know the second barrel was toasted. I am even more excited about it now. On the side of the bottle, you can see a little bit written above the government warning. It says, limited bottle number. Mine is HBR for Heritage Barrel Rye, 04598. The special release series highlights the Jack Daniels Distillery's innovation. Our rye whiskey is matured first in new American charred oak barrels and then in our uniquely crafted heavy toast low char heritage barrels. We extend this one of a kind craftsmanship to you. Oh my goodness, I can't get any more excited. I'm gonna get a special Jack Daniels glass to have this in. I've got this big Glen Karen oversized stemless glen that has a jack daniels on the bottom i'll show you a picture of it all right got the plastic off of there coming to the cork pop oh nice one fresh cork pop we do not put rise in our infinity barrel look at that beautiful beautiful jack daniels whiskey in this giant ridiculous jack daniels glass absolutely love it so as you can tell it's got a nice dark rich color to it oh man smell of golden grams smelling some nice wood and caramel notes along with just golden grams all right let's get into it cheers it has got a great balance across the palate really nice sweet syrupy notes up front i gotta go in again and get another sip cheers it's got some great wood notes right up front. There's like a syrupy caramel note that isn't so much like the thick dark brown syrupy caramel, but more like the clear pump syrup caramel. I don't know how to explain it. A little bit of roasted marshmallows, like to where the entire marshmallow is brown because you had it over the campfire. Got a little bit of graham cracker, but I think I was getting more graham cracker on the nose than I am on the palate. Man, that drink's really easy. I'm glad they had it at 100 proof and not any lower. If it was a little bit higher, like 107 or 110, I might like it even more, but I love it. I think it's fantastic. Now that you know that I absolutely love it, which I'm sure is a huge surprise to everybody, let's talk about the price point. I believe MSRP was between 75 and 80 bucks, and you'll see it out there for a whole lot more than that because people know it's highly sought after it's not super easy to find, so some of those little liquor stores are gonna jack up the prices just to take more of your money. But it's a limited release, hard to find, and it's absolutely freaking delicious. And so I can justify paying over MSRP on this, but that does not excuse the people selling this for three to $400. Absolutely not, they should be ashamed of it. Thanks for watching, cheers.